Yes, hello everyone and welcome back to my Kupitsa career here at I Italy. Uh, I don't know why I struggle to say Italy then. Uh, the Temple of Speed, of course, Monza. Um, so expect to see some very high speeds uh, here today. Um, hope you all enjoyed the last episode. Uh, I certainly did. It was a mental, mental Grand Prix. Uh, I don't know how we managed to win it in five laps. I don't know. Um, but, you know, that's what sometimes Grand Prix are like on these games uh, you don't you don't you don't, you don't know what the ai are going to be like around a certain track so um yeah uh, hopefully we can have the same result around here uh, i hope um hopefully we don't make uh, too many mistakes but um without further ado let's get into the italian grand prix and let's see if we can win a second race in a row let's fire up the engine So once again, we are starting very far down on the grid. No idea why, but um, I mean, whatever. Uh, as we have five red lights, I'm assuming, and it's lights out. Here we go here for the Italian Grand Prix. We've got a relatively good start to our, compared to our teammate. Um, we now have Kamui Kobayashi coming down our inside there, near enough. Um, as we now uh, try and dive it down the inside of Rosberg, maybe. Yeah, we've gone down the down the inside. We've uh, managed to go down there. We've got a Vettel on our inside, so he's not had a very good start. And now we've got Jensen Buttonhead of us now. So uh, I, I don't know what's happened to all the, the uh, top runners here. Um, I'm assuming there's, I'm assuming the Ferraris are up there probably. Um, but we dive it down the inside of. Uh, wow. Um, yeah. That wasn't meant to happen. Uh, we dived it down the inside of Button. Didn't work. And uh, we lost uh, both positions because he managed to overtake Schumacher. But we've got Button, button back anyway, so it's fine. Um, and now we've managed to do the undercut on, well, the switch back on Schumacher. So it's all good. Uh, it's all good. Uh, as we now cut on to lap two of the Grand Prix in, the, in a similar place on the track in the two Lesbos. Um, and now we are right behind Felipe Massa, who's had a really weird run through the first one. And now we're going to go around the outside in the second one. And that is us up now into fourth place. Is it a bit of Massa has spun off there? I don't know why. I think I might have tagged him accident, but uh, look at the speed we're gaining on these two guys here. I mean, that was just ridiculous. As we're now um, going to hold back a little bit, uh, we're going to let them battle out a little bit. As Alonso has got a terrible run out of Ascari, and that is us now onto the podium once again. Um, so we seem to be in a very good phase of form here at the minute in uh, in Renault. But we've run right into the par parabolica. We've gone onto the grass. And Alonso is going to get us back now uh, into third place. But we luckily, uh, you'll see the amazing straight line speed that we have here now. As we just stroll past uh, the Ferrari there. And we hit 223 miles per hour going down the uh, the um, start finish straight. So uh, yeah, as we almost lose the back end there on the uh, on this first chicane. Now moving on to the, well later on is that lap actually. Um, we run it a bit wide. We've gone into the gravel trap there just. And now Alonso again is back ahead of us. So uh, just too many mistakes here. We've managed to defend that position. Uh, but too many mistakes in this Grand Prix at the minute. And now cut on to lap 5 of the Grand Prix. We're coming for our uh, our first pit stop of the Grand Prix. And our only pit stop. Um, obviously the uh, leader. Uh, I don't know who that was actually. Um, I can't remember who the leader was. But it might have been Weber actually. Um, as the leader pit already. Uh, so we are now coming in for our first pit stop. It's a 4.6 second pit stop, which isn't great. Um, so we might have uh, some work to do uh, by the time you know we everyone else pits. But uh, Kovalainen is now leading the way, uh, which never happened ever. So uh, he's going to win. He's going to lead at least one race in a Lotus. So uh, anyway. Uh, moving on to lap 7 of the Grand Prix then, we're now, we've caught up to Lewis Hamilton now, as uh, that was a slight corner cut of the end of, of the Ascari chicane, and we've uh, managed to pass Lewis Hamilton there for 3rd place, provisionally 2nd, uh, I'm assuming, yeah, 2nd place now is Kovalainen's pit, and now we're now right behind one of our championship rivals, 
uh, Mark Webber now, and uh, we pass him with relative ease, which is quite strange, really. Um, but we're now into first place of the Grand Prix with uh, only three laps left to go. And now cutting on to the final lap of the Grand Prix, come around the Parabolica. We uh, come around the final corner now to take a second win in a row. Getting onto the grass there a little bit, it wasn't the best finish ever. But taking our second win in a row, and hopefully this is the title challenge mounted. Fantastic race! Congratulations on the win, mate. That's 25 points in the bag. So obviously there, Jeff, very happy with that performance um, as we take the win from Mark Weber by 4.3 seconds. Hamilton there finishing in third, a good race from him. And once again, the Ferraris are nowhere. Even at their home Grand Prix, they're nowhere. Uh, Kobayashi managed to finish in seventh, so that's a good race from him. Um, both the Mercs uh, got high positions as well, so they had a very good race. Um, but hopefully this is a title challenge mounted from ourselves. Um, I hope so, anyway. Uh, because this is, um, you know, it's, it, it's, it's that time of the season now where it's crunch time, you know. So you kind of have to, you know, if you want to do something, you have to mount it now. Um, but Hulkenberg and De Della Rosa round off the uh, the top 10. Uh, Vettel down in 15th, Massa down in 17th. No idea what happened with them. Maybe there was a train or something. Like, a trolley train. But obviously it wasn't a trolley train because he was down at the back, as per usual. Um, but, you know, like I was saying, if you want to mount a title challenge, you need to do it now, around this time of the season. Because then you have enough, you probably have enough races to catch up if everyone else has some bad races. Um, so hopefully we can do that. Uh, as we look at the driver standings, then we're now 10 points behind Mark Webber and we've overtaken Sebastian Vettel. So uh, we are now in the title challenge. Um, the top two have kind of uh, cut the rest of the field adrift. Um, Alonso there almost up to 100 points. Almost. Um, it's taken him this long to get almost 100 points. Um, so yeah, uh, title challenge is mounted now, uh, Mark Webber, after having a couple of bad races, uh, even, though, even though he finished second here, but um, yeah. Uh, moving on to the constructors then, Red Bull have pretty much won, and McLaren are pretty much going to finish in second. Uh, Renault might finish in second, depending on, on what Merck do in the next few races, but uh, if you have enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and comment, and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.